Justin Jefferson gets the bag, the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL, and he absolutely deserved it. Here to help us break it all down is Locked On Vikings host Luke Braun. Luke, the national media was looking at this as a potential disaster situation for the Minnesota Vikings, that they would never get the deal done with Justin Jefferson. But you were on the cooler, calmer side of it, pretty confident that it was going to get done. But were the numbers at all surprising for you, the $35 million a year for the top wideout? Yeah, see, this is why you listen to local people instead of just letting <laughs> whatever hot take artist who hasn't looked into the situation at all. No, the 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 local beat was all over this the whole time. There was yeah. never any indication that the Vikings were even chopping or even like considering it. Um, they basically hung up the phone anytime they got a phone call. They got plenty of phone calls. Of course they did, but they didn't entertain them. Uh, and so it, would, it, it, it was pretty much done for a while. And it seems like they were sort of the reason it took longer than that to announce is because they were just waiting for a good week where nothing else was going on. So they waited until, <laughs> June, until after uh, they just wanted to make sure they got it done before uh, mandatory mini camp. So there wasn't any tension there, but yeah, yeah. the numbers um, once the cap went up more than we thought the mm -hmm. numbers, everybody kind of looked at it and said, okay, yeah, 34, 35 million. That number has been floating around for a while. He gets 35 million, uh, average per year that will make him uh of course the highest paid guy in history that was always the goal we always knew that was going to happen at the super bowl you know he said oh i want to break the bank that mean that that's what he meant by that and <laughs> yes. i think he already kind of knew that it was going to happen by even going all the way back to the super bowl i think there was already that sense of like okay this is going to happen and it's just a matter of the details and the and the calendar of when things get done rather than how much or the what or any of that so everybody's kind of known for a while. So I hope you got your like weird engagement farming in while you could, cause it's over now. <laughs> no more, no more available uh, for the engagement farmers out there, but a lot available for the Minnesota Vikings. Um, Justin Jefferson has averaged nearly 15 yards, sorry, 1500 yards uh, per season, nearly eight receiving touchdowns per season. And that includes the season last year where he played in only 10 up. games. Yeah. So it, yeah. So it feels like a dumb question to ask you, Luke, but I'm going to ask you anyway, what do the Vikings get out of this? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, what do you get out of a superstar, right? You mm -hmm. get a focal point for your offense. You get to walk into every game, look the other team dead in the eye and say, you have a problem. And that problem's wearing number 18. Mm -hmm. And how you saw how that team decides to solve its problems is now what you get to game to shape your game plan around. They essentially have to go through one stage of problem solving first every single time and that like it, it just it lets you be one step ahead of them because you know okay yeah. they're going to put safety help over the top we can craft a whole game plan now around attacking that and having that knowledge that's what that superstar gives you or if they don't do it because sometimes teams decide ah we've got the dude we really feel good about him he's going to take it maybe he just pops off for 180 yards <laughs> like that's that's what you get and and now he will spend the majority of his career at least as a viking um, he's, he's signed through his ninth season now. So, you know, he'll be 29 by the time we're talking about the next contract, mm -hmm. uh, or, or whatever happens there. So now you get this nice chapter of JJ McCarthy on a rookie deal, Justin Jefferson yeah. on his deal, JJ to JJ. There's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Ownership loves this coaching staff's excited about it. Everybody loves that. And then you have pieces like Hawkinson and Addison kind of on the outskirts that are supporting this, the, the bookend tackles and everything. This offense is complete. This offense is done. This is what the offense is. Maybe you're going to shuffle a little bit at running back the next few years, and that's about it. Figuring out the defense is now going to be the offseason thing for the next couple of years, and that's super mm -hmm. nice to go into an offseason and say, okay, one side of the ball is completely good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not a bad situation to be in at all. Not a bad situation for, as you mentioned, uh, right now, at least rookie J.J. McCarthy coming mm -hmm. in. As you mentioned, now these two will overlap. They're effectively on the same contract timeline uh, mm -hmm. for, for the time being. So how does this help J.J. McCarthy as he grows, matures, and settles into the NFL game? Right. Like obviously having a guy that you can be your crutch a little bit in the early stages is going to be helpful. You know, you can get rid of the ball. You can make improvisational plays. You have somebody you can trust and mm -hmm. they can now build that chemistry over years. They have not worked together yet because Jefferson right. hasn't showed up to, to any OTAs. I'm sure he'll start showing up now to like minicamp and all that, but he mm -hmm. hasn't. Um, so, so they haven't been able to get much 
like team sponsored work in together and now they'll be able to but now what this does it takes any ambiguity out of the situation and now they just get to build upon each other for years get to know each other you know build the chemistry in the same way jefferson had that chemistry with Kirk cousins you have to kind of start that over when you change quarterbacks and now they have the perfect setup to get that together um but the other thing is like you don't necessarily want your rookie quarterback to have a crutch for one year and then not have that crutch anymore because he'll just build right. a habit of relying too much on one guy but now you can safely have a habit of relying a lot on justin jefferson he always gonna be here we, we just <laughs> Like <laughs> you rely on him all you want. You can throw f for 200 yards every game. He ain't going anywhere. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad situation to be in at all. If you want more on the Minnesota Vikings, Justin Jefferson's new deal, JJ McCarthy's future, you can find it all with Luke Braun every single Monday through Friday over at the locked on Vikings podcast on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube for more Luke. Thanks for taking the time, bud.